Shalom, what is good people? Today I want to go into uh, a testimony I have about Sri Lakshmi uh, when I had a Sri Lakshmi poster and shrine and I was praying to Sri Lakshmi and doing um, Sri Lakshmi Shreem Brazil mantras and uh, what actually happened, what, what, what happened from having a deity shrine and, and calling forth on this deity to help me manifest wealth, what was the results of that. So the intention of this video is to pre-warn anyone who wants to mess around with deities, demigods. This is not an, uh, an attack on Hinduism, Buddhism or Taoism, but this is just rather my testimony of what happened. And then I'm going to share also some of the things that has been shared with me since I've shared my testimony with Hindus, Buddhists, um, Taoists, um, and just people who have had these idols or demigods or deities and worship them and use them to manifest wealth or manifest this. So a lot of people don't know, like myself, that these deities and demigods are actually fallen angels. Uh, the, the word of God says in Ephesians 6, 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers and rulers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And Exodus also speaks of you shall not uh, work, bow down and worship them. You should not make um, an image of anything in the heavens above, the waters below or on the earth and worship graven images. So this is all idolatry. This is all against uh, the Almighty's uh, plan. When you have a demigod and you worship that demigod, sadly what hides behind that are principalities, um, evil spirits. Now I'm not saying that you're aware of that and um, you're, you're choosing to willingly worship evil spirits. So that's what this, the aim of this, this video is and the intention of this video is to share you my story, to tell you what happened when I was involved in the New Age and the occult, uh, the New Age spirituality buffet of Buddhism, Hinduism, Taoism and worshipping all these different idols and gods and tarot card readings and Reiki healing and all of this other stuff that I was involved in. Um, you know, acupuncture, astral projection, tarot cards, meditation, yoga, all of these things and how actually much of these practices are coming directly from the serpent's kingdom, the, you know, the dragon's kingdom, the serpent's kingdom. You see a lot of the symbolism of the dragon in the Taoist religions and the Chinese and the Japanese um, and the Eastern mysticism religions. You can see that playing out. So this is all the idols of Satan's kingdom, the demigods and deities of Satan's kingdom. So my testimony is that with Sri Lakshmi, Sri Lakshmi was a demigod or deity that I was praying to, I was chanting to, I was doing uh, Sri Brazi mantras to manifest wealth, uh, financial abundance, prosperity and all of these things because Sri Lakshmi in Hinduism is, is stated as the god, the goddess of uh, money and prosperity and all of these things. Now this was a good few years ago now, this is prior to me coming to the faith. So what happened was I was in Bali, Indonesia at the time. I was traveling, living in Bali, Bali, Indonesia. I was there for about three months and this area is rife with these idols. All down the streets you will see these idols, Hinduism idols, demigods, deities and principalities. They are literally everywhere in Bali, Indonesia. Um, Bali, Indonesia is a lovely place. Uh, I don't want to sound like I'm out in the Indonesians or um, Hindus for, for uh, you know for that fact. Yeah, this is not about outing anyone. This is about sharing my testimony. Many of these people don't know that these deities, these idols, are actually in fact principalities and demons and demigods. I didn't know either. So this is my story. So I was in Bali, Indonesia. I was fully engrossed in spirituality, new age spirituality, spirituality, the occult, whatever you want to call it. I was I, my belief prior to where I'm at now was come to the spirituality buffet table and take a, just a slice of everything. So I was trying everything out. I was trying out meditation from the Buddhists and the Taoists and, and the, the Hindus. And then I was going and I was taking acupuncture 
or acupressure from from you know Chinese medicine and 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 Taoism you know all of that from 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 the the Asian sort of community and then I was getting involved in you know Reiki healing channeling Reiki healing and then also some of the some stuff I I got involved in was like tarot card readings from which is more pagan and Wicca and Satanism so the, I was taking a slice of everything I was at the spirituality buffet. I was having a bite of all of these different pies, you know, engrossing myself in all these different cultures, learning about meditation and yoga and all these different things. And I didn't know that everything that I did behind each and every one of these practices lies deities, demigods, spiritual um, powers of wickedness as stated in Ephesians 6 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers and rulers against spiritual wickedness in high places so when I had the Sri Lakshmi poster I had it I bought a Sri Lakshmi poster I lay it on my wall um, I started doing Sri Brazil mantras and even there I started doing Sri Brazil mantras so when I bought and purchased that Sri Lakshmi poster I then now made a legal, I gave a legal right to the shrine of Sri Lakshmi to operate in my soul, body and mind from giving money over to, to, to Sri Lakshmi as a, as a donation and then having Sri Lakshmi then be yoked to me through paying, making a legal right and a covenant with that principality. What then began to happen was I began to pray, chant, you know, do chanting of Sri Mbrazi mantras for wealth, money and prosperity. This was something that became a religious thing. So I was now spending my time worshiping this deity or demigod. 30 minutes to an hour every day trying to do the Sri Brazil mantras to manifest wealth and finances and even though I'd attained a lot of success in my clothing brand business selling products worldwide or selling products in Russia, Czech Republic, Germany, Spain, UK, America, New Zealand, urban music brand clothing was being sold worldwide, all the products I still wasn't fulfilled so I was seeking more because I was getting all of this stuff was coming to me you know like wealth, success, you know my Instagram page blew up, I had about 12k following on Instagram, I had all this stuff uh, so the Sri Lakshmi mantras were helping but prior to that I'd already attained success so it was now it was, it was the lust of the flesh, the pride of life coming out of me that I was still not fulfilled, I had all this success selling products worldwide and I still needed more so what happened was I started doing these mantras daily from that moment on I'm having the buying the Sri Lakshmi poster you know offering the money out to uh, creating a bond or a tie to that demigod what happened then was things began to get very very dark so my time in Bali Indonesia came to an end I was only there for three months I loved it I had a great time you know I was out on the beaches there I was reading a lot swimming in the sea a lot you know I was I was praying and, 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 and doing mantras and fasting and, and you know going to like retreats and buying crystals and just really enjoying uh, the fruits of my success but still not fulfilled now before coming home there was one night when a dark entity came into the room in my my uh, my where I was living my apartment in Bali Indonesia I came into the room and I felt the presence of this evil spirit and it said you know I said what is this evil spirit in my space at this time I was was deep in astral projection and meditating so I would communicate with spirits as they came in or spirit guides so I said what is this spirit why are you here and it said I'm here for your energy I said all right well you're not having it leave and it wouldn't leave but that was the moment that I started to realize okay this is getting serious like this whatever's going on with me is not good um so before actually leaving Bali Indonesia I actually bought uh sleeping tablets to help me sleep because I started to get really serious insomnia so an accumulation of deep warfare from this and as soon as this you know as soon as this happened you know this this experience where this spirit came at night it would never now never leave me alone I came home with the sleeping tablets still taking the sleeping tablets still doing the mantras for the money this is when things got very very dark for me and I started to realize this spirituality new age buffet thing is not what we what it seems and by this point I was deeply entrenched in the new age and the occult spirituality I've done everything yoga 
meditation, chanting, mantras, tarot card readings, astral projecting, cambo frog medicine, being poisoned by the cambo frog, acupuncture, acupressure, cupping, you know, so much of the Eastern mysticism and false religions and all of the, the false light. Uh, Satan comes to masquerade as an angel of light and uh, watch out for false prophets because false prophets come in sheep's clothing. These scriptures come to me shortly after, made me realize that actually the deities and the devil demigods are not they're not all loving they're not all giving they're not they're not here to actually help you they're here for you to serve them once you've served them they will then toss you aside satan comes to steal kill and destroy he comes to steal your vessel pollute your vessel kill you and destroy you so what had happened is i'd obviously given a legal right over to the to satan's kingdom he was using that to oppress me and possess me and work through me and torment me by these spirits i wasn't getting any sleep i was on these sleeping tablets and i started to share my testimony with him Hindu, Hindus and Buddhists, you know, I would tell them that I've got, a, uh, a, I'm chanting Srimbazi mantras, I can't sleep, I've got the deities and the idols of Sri Lakshmi to help me attain well financial abundance and prosperity, and they all told me the same thing. This is not from an English Caucasian person that said this. This was coming from Buddhists, Taoists, Hindus, the deities. When you worship her and you step back and stop worshiping her, she gets very angry and she starts to attack you. And they said you've got to be careful with Sri Lakshmi because when you when you stop worshiping her, she starts to attack you. This became an ongoing uh, mantra with people. You know, they're saying the same thing. So then I'm thinking, well, this doesn't make sense. If this is a like god or a goddess, that's his to help me with financial wealth but it's bullying me and not letting me sleep if I don't do the uh, mantras then what am I what you know what what I'm why am I going to want to want to work with this obviously at this point it was too late for me to just turn around because these things won't leave once you've given them a legal right Satan you know Lucifer the kingdom of darkness the satanic kingdom the serpent kingdom the dragon kingdom the marine kingdom which is much of the kingdoms that are actually operating behind the scene behind the spirituality new age buffet sadly many many of us are unaware of it I was unaware of it at the time Time. These demigods and principalities and demons started to work through all of the open, open doors and the channels that I'd open up in my soul, body, mind and spirit from astral projecting, meditating, transcendental meditation, Reiki, mantras, chanting, Sri Lakshmi, posters and shrines and incense and yoga and all this stuff. And on the surface you're going to say, well, what's wrong with yoga? What's wrong with, with, with like yoga? There's nothing wrong with yoga. And I thought the same thing. I used to do yoga stretches and that, but the thing is, the yoga originally, the, orig the origin of it is that there are demigods behind those poses. So you're, you're posing in these, these poses, the demigod poses, you're posing for the principalities to come in and work through you. And you don't even know that this when you do these practices. If it's, if it's a spiritual practice, but it's coming from the serpent's kingdom, Satan's kingdom, then you're going to get oppressed from these forces. It got very, very, very dark for me you know, following all these ch chanting and mantras and that for, with, for Sri Lakshmi and every time you put pay your money down to a book that is coming from, because basically all books in existence are channeling one of three spirits. They're either channeling the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of God, the spirit of the person who wrote the book or another spirit, which is the spirit of evil spirits, demigods, the angels, uh, prince, fallen angels and principalities. So I was reading so many different occult books. Those are all open doors and legal rights covenants made with these demigods, the evil spirits behind each book. I had to start throwing all these occult books out, books about the Kabbalah, books about the occult, books about the new age, books about astrology, Vedic astrology, astronomy, all of these books. All of these ancient religions, false religions and the, and, and the false light of the new age which is coming from Lucifer's kingdom, isn't it a marvel that Lucifer himself masquerades as an angel of light? All of the, these, this information... Uh, this Enoch 7.10 Then they, the Nephilim, or the fallen angels, took wives, each choosing for himself whom they began to approach and with whom they cohabited, teaching them sorcery, incantations, and the dividing of the roots and trees. And the women, conceiving, brought forth giants, whose stature was each three hundred cubits. These devoured all which the labour of men produced, until it became impossible to feed them. 
when they turned themselves against men in order to devour them and began to injure birds, beasts, reptiles and fishes to eat their flesh one after another and to drink their blood. Then the earth reproved the unrighteousness. Moreover, Azazel taught men to make swords, knives, shields, breastplates, the fabrication of mirrors and the workmanship of bracelets and ornaments, the use of paint, the beautifying of the eyebrows, the use of stones of every valuable and select kind and all sorts of dyes so that the world became altered. Impiety increased, fornication multiplied and they transgressed and corrupted all their ways. A Mazarak taught all the sorcerers and dividers of roots. Armors taught the solution of sorcery. Barakial taught the observers of the stars. Akibiel taught signs. Tamiel taught astronomy. And Asaradel taught the motion of the moon. And men, being destroyed, cried out and their voice reached to heaven. See that last bit there. And men being destroyed, cried out and their voice reached to heaven. So they were deceived by these spirits, by these Nephilim that brought forth the new age practices into this dimension. Didn't, I didn't know that at the time. And what had happened was all of this evil spirits, they started to oppress you. They weren't leaving. A simple prayer wasn't working. So people started guiding me. I said, look, I've got insomnia. I had insomnia for eight months of my life. Spirits were coming and attacking me, jumping on my bed, jumping on, you know, jumping and attacking me. It became very, very, very dark time of my life. And, uh, you know, people were saying to me, don't even worship angels. We're not even to worship, don't worship deities, don't worship angels, only worship the Lord your God only. He's the only one who's worthy of worship. Every other deity, demigod and angel, is coming from another kingdom and we're not meant to worship it. I didn't know this. So Satan comes to still kill and destroy. He will give you blessings, but he will take peace from you. It's like the, the scripture that says Satan took uh, Christ up onto the, to the mountaintops and showed him all the kingdoms of the earth and said, I will give you all of this if you bow down and worship me. So I didn't know that I was worshiping, worshiping demigods, deities, evil spirits. Eight months of insomnia, telling these things, leave, leave me alone, go away. Wasn't going away. They had legal right to be there. I'd book, bought books. I'd done chanting, chanting and mantras for these evil spirits that come and oppress me. It's a miracle that I'm still here and, I, and I'm and i not like locked up in a mental institution and asylum for, for worshiping Sri Lakshmi and other deities and doing a cult, new age, spirituality practice. It's a miracle. So people started to say to me, because obviously I was looking for solutions to get rid of all, you know, I couldn't sleep, dark, red orbs and that coming around me. So people, people started saying to me, you need to start calling on Christ. Christ Jesus or Christ Yahusha. Jesus Christ burns all witchcraft, burns all demons, breaks all legal rights and covenants with Satan's kingdom, because Christ is from God's kingdom. Christ is the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. And I really did not want to, at the time, I'll be honest, I didn't want to read the Bible. I didn't want to come to Christ. I didn't like the connotations of Christianity, being called a Christian. It, I really was not for that. I wasn't against Christ, but I wasn't for it. I wasn't for being being reading the Bible and seeing what people were going to say to me, but I had no other choice. Sri Lakshmi and other sp evil spirits that had come from spirituality and Taoism and Buddhism and Hinduism oppressing me and causing me no sleep was really starting to become a serious prob problem. So I had no other choice. I had to surrender to God. I was on the carpet on the floor in my bedroom at the time, pleading out to God to make this horrible, horrific bad dark energy stop attacking me and tormenting me. Christ came into my heart on the floor. He told me to start reading the Bible, start praying, start fasting. He gave me deliverance prayers to start doing to get rid of all of these yokes and break the yoke to Sri Lakshmi. My intention of this video was to pre-warn anyone involved in new age, occult or esoteric practices that so many of them, pretty much near enough, all of them are coming directly from Satan's kingdom. You can still have a spiritual life with a relationship with the Holy Spirit. I still live, I still have spiritual principles. I fast, I pray regularly, I sing worship, but this time my worship is directed 
to the Almighty. I sing worship to the Almighty. You know, I sing in tongues and a holy language. I put on prayer music and worship music. The Word of God clearly states you should have no other gods before me. And dear children, keep yourselves from idols. Now, I didn't know anything really back then about idolatry and how bad it was, but it's actually one of the main uh, commandments of the Most High God that we don't have idols. If you look back in time and history, all of these this idolatry and demigods and, and, and worship came from Satan's kingdom, came from the serpent kingdom and it came from being yoked to these evil spirits and this then brings generational curses of witchcraft and the occult down the bloodline when you you're yoking to these spirits and that's why I'm saying do not be unequally yoked with with people who do this don't be don't be involved in this because in the long term it's going to create serious serious implications not just for your own health and sanity but your family bloodline as well and the way Satan the kingdom of darkness and his demons operate is that they that they, they they want you to make a yoke or a bond or a tie with them and they just want to remain on the on the outskirts and not let you know what's going on now what had happened is i'd done so much witchcraft and occult practices that it was just inevitable i was just plowed with evil spirits and i had so much evil in me and around me and through me and working through me that this stuff was just operating through me to cause me havoc it's a miracle that i'm here and i can share this testimony with you you know and i have to say that the testimony of me making it out of everything that happened alive was through Christ, through prayer, through fasting, through listening to deliverance prayers like the Fernando Perez deliverance prayer. And my intention of this video is to warn you, if you now do make the, the decision to turn away from all of the occult and the spirituality, buffet, Taoism, Buddhism, Hinduism, and come to the true light, the true light and truth of Christ, Yahushua's kingdom, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the only begotten son of the most high, repent, turn away from all of this to come and be saved. A fiery trial will come upon you, but you will have great spiritual riches in this world the lord is my shepherd i shall not want i no longer want the riches of this world you know and i've had the riches of this world i had fame and fortune and success 12k following on instagram selling products worldwide traveling con uh, different countries and selling my merchandise selling my products online people paying for services growing artist pages in um in the music industry marketing big well-known artists in the music industry and stuff i had that success but that didn't bring me peace the, the thing that brought me peace that surpasses all understanding is the, is the peace the love and the presence of the holy spirit to come in and cleanse out my house clean 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 my house out if you repent of your sins and turn away from the, doing wicked uh, uh, acts the lord will come and heal your land he'll cleanse you he'll sanctify you and bring him bring you closer to him and he'll give you spiritual riches um you know and a peace that surpasses all understanding and you'll have peace and you'll have a new a new life to live and lead that isn't creating your to these evil spirits all of these evil practices so you've been warned you've been shared the testimony of what happens when you worship other gods and idols i couldn't sleep i had intense spiritual warfare things jumping on me poking me waking up screaming like a girl in the middle of the night so you've been pre-warned come away from this stuff repent seek the lord seek uh, christ Yahushua, the only begotten son of the most high and he will come clean out your house sanctify you if you carry on on this way and this path this trajectory you will be going to the lake of fire you will be burning in the lake of fire i had a friend's mother who was a tarot card reader for 20 plus years. She thought that what she was doing, which was from Satan's kingdom, wasn't bad. She passed away a year after cursing me. I've seen many others who say that they can carry on doing, you know, witchcraft and sorcery and be involved in divination and astral projection and, and mantras and yoga and reiki healing and channeling all of this is from satan's kingdom if it's not healing through the power of the holy spirit and in jesus Christ's mighty name through jesus christ's blood who's the only man who walked this earth who defeated the demons who defeated the devil who defeated the kingdom of darkness he lived free from sin and he was the only man who ascended back up and raised from the dead his his blood, his sacrifice is a free sacrifice for us to break the generational curses, to break the legal rights, to break the covenants with all these evil spirits so that we can be cleansed and sanctified and be made holy and then we can cleanse and sanctify and, and make our bloodline holy. The Most High God doesn't want us serving these demigods, these principalities and demons. 
and dark rulers. We can, you know, we may well get bow down and, and, and worship the, the enemy, worship the devil, and then we will get all these, these riches of this world, but you can send the riches of these world, but you'll be, but you'll be, you'll lose your soul in the process. For what does it benefit a man to gain the whole world yet lose his soul? You can gain the whole world, riches, success, money, power. You can't take that with you when you leave. When, you know, when it comes to your time to leave and depart this dimension, you have to give an account for what you've done in this dimension. The lust of the flesh, the pride of life, these come from the world. They're not from the Father, but from the world. Chasing the lust of your flesh, just like I was, chasing money, success, power. You're free, feeding your flesh. You're working for the devil's kingdom. You're working for Satan's kingdom. Unfortunately, that's the case. You're not working for the, for the Almighty's kingdom. You're not here to, to serve others, to save souls for, for, for God's kingdom. And the word of God says, it clearly says that when people are saved, the angels rejoice. One soul that's saved here on, on this dimension, the angels re rejoice. Isn't your soul worth something? Your soul must be worth something if Satan, both the kingdom of God and the kingdom of, the dar of darkness are after your soul and they want your soul. Your soul must be of something. It must, it, the, the spiritual com currency and the energy of your soul must be way more than we could ever imagine. The fact that the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of God, the kingdom of light is both after. And everything that is of this world is not of God. Come out of the world, come out, choose to be set apart, come away from the occult, come away from the esoteric, you know, new age occult. We're putting curses on your family bloodline. Come away from that. Repent, seek the almighty Jesus Christ, Christ Yahushua, the only begotten son, the most high God. He wants a relationship with you. And if you repent and turn from being involved in Vedic astrology, astral projecting, yoga, Hinduism, Buddhism, Kundalini, all this. Kundalini is the serpent. You see in the Kundalini symbolism, it's a serpent. Because what you're doing is you're letting these evil spirits then coil around your spine and your body. Repent and turn to Christ. I promise you, you'll, you'll be sanctified and made holy and you will live an, a, a new fulfilling life where you're not seeking the external validation and approval of man. You have the approval and the validation of the Most High God and to do his will is 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 a blessing it really is a blessing i got to shoot cuz that cuz